What's up guys, Swift here covering everything Chicago Bears with daily videos and much, much more. I spent some time in the lab watching Dieter Iceland specifically. I just wanted to take a quick second to say the inspiration for this video came from you guys, as Dieter has been the most asked about player in my comments throughout camp. I went into detail watching every rep Dieter took versus the Seahawks at least 10 times. I watched in full speed, slow motion, and even frame by frame. I graded 53 of Dieter's snaps from the game. I was constantly impressed with how good Dieter looked on tape. There were a couple negatives, he wasn't perfect, but for the most part he did get the job done, even when it didn't look pretty. I graded 51 of his snaps pretty cleanly, scoring him with 26 positive reps, 21 neutral reps where he did his job, but it wasn't anything special, and then only four negative plays out of 51. I then have two other questionable plays that I'll break down for you here. One of his negatives was a bad snap, and then the other two questionable plays are snaps that I will evaluate further. Then we will come up with the final score on his game. The great news was other than exiting for three plays early in the game, Dieter played the majority of this game. Sam Mustafer got the starting reps, which was about 11 snaps, but then Dieter took over for 53 of the next 56 plays before then giving away to Corey Dublin for the final three snaps of the game. One thing that stood out to me is that Dieter is built for this position. He looks like a prototypical center, and he played like one too. He was almost always in good position, other than a couple of times where he got slightly lost in a mess. He seems to have plenty of power in his base and can drive opponents back. He flashes good technique and hand usage, but he does need to clean up his technique at times. He has solid anchor, and he always blocks to the whistle. He rarely gets beat badly or loses a rep. He seemed to do a good job of adjusting protections and making calls on the line for a guy who hasn't played much center. His athleticism looked just fine to me. He was solid on the move. He would occasionally miss a block in space, but never in a way where his guy would make a play. It was almost as if defenders just didn't want to get hit by him a couple of times in the open field, so they let the play go by but avoided getting clobbered by Dieter. He has a level of toughness that I love to see, and I was pleasantly surprised by the amount of awareness he showed adjusting to late blitzers or stunts on the line. He was almost always able to wall off his man in the run game and showed the ability to anchor versus the bull rush in pass protection. Now let's go over those two questionable snaps I haven't graded out yet and the one play that I did give him a negative for but was also a bad snap. All three plays we are watching are the three snaps of his that looked questionable. I could show you every rep, but then this video would be two hours long, so I'll go over these three bad snaps, and then I'll show you a couple of my favorite plays on the day. Let's get into it. So there were three snaps that Dieter had that looked questionable on film, so we're going to watch all three of those, and we're going to watch them in slow motion, see if they are on fault of Dieter or not. Let's go ahead with this first one here in slow motion. He calls for the ball, Simeon wants it, low snap. Just see where the snap comes in at. It's right, right at Simeon's knee. I mean, that's not, that's not horrible, but it's not, it's not great either. It's a low snap. And then Peter kind of looks like he misses his guy here, kind of stands around. This is the part, this is where I'm going to grade this one in negative. You see the running back coming up, about to pass him up here. You're wondering... Is Dieter going to try to block this guy? And no, doesn't really happen there. We can go back and watch this one in full speed. I'm going to mark this as a negative play for Dieter. One, he has the low snap here. And then two, he doesn't really do much after the low snap. Snap, misses a block there. Oh, stands around. Oh, okay. Just not a great rep overall from Dieter right there. I'm going to have to mark that one down as a negative for sure. That's something he can improve on. This play here, this is another one where it's it's kind of the same thing. We're, we're going to watch it in slow-mo first here. See, we got a guy in motion. Now, you can see Dieter's calling out the mic. Now, after this, Simeon is going to call an audible or an adjustment. The running back's going to notice it, but Dieter's going to snap the ball. Something's off here, and it looks like it's on Dieter. That's why we watch it in slow-mo. 
Watch, look at Simeon. Calling it. Tapping the helmet. Up here, he notices it. He notices it here. Running back notices it too. The Dieter. Um, he's still calling that. Oh, Dieter snaps. He's looking over here. Calling the, calling the protection. Dieter snaps the ball. No one else on the offensive line moves. This is why this looks like it's on Dieter to me. See there, Dieter's the only guy moving. Nobody else on the offensive line has moved yet. The quarterback is not expecting the ball. This one looks like it's on Dieter. May happen when it's your first time playing center. And that's a bad snap. And then also another thing here. After the bad snap, just like on the last play, watch this. We got a blitzer coming up the middle here. And after Dieter's guy gets by here, you think he would want to turn and stop this guy, but let's see what happens. Simeon gets the ball. Dieter right here. Let's pause it right here, right here. This guy is already on to another man right here. He's got another man. Dieter, you're not going to stop this guy. But you could stop this guy. Let's watch this guy and see what he does. It was right behind Dieter's back here and smashes the quarterback. Hmm. So unfortunately, this is another negative rep for Dieter. We're going to watch it in full speed here real quick. We're going to see that he snaps the ball early, and then at the end it looks like he misses the block and lets his quarterback get killed. So let's watch it. Snapped early, kind of stands there. He's trying to help with that guy. Doesn't real. Mm. Nah, I just, I don't like that one, Dieter. I'm sorry. That's something he definitely needs to improve on, partially because it's his first time playing center. And that might be why Sam Mustafer is still in front of him. A lot of the other things I've seen on tape, I love. And you'll see why. I'll show you a couple of the positive plays at the end. But we got one more bad snap to look at here first. Okay, this is another snap that's just a little bit off. But then after the snap, Dieter also gets thrown to the ground here. Um, let's watch it in slow-mo first to see how this snap goes. Let's see the snap here. Peterman calls for it. You can see right here, he's reaching to his right. So the snap's not perfect. It's The height is good. This is one that Peterman should be able to grab, though, in my opinion. It's not perfect. But you might occasionally get these from a new center. Peterman just doesn't catch it. He takes his eyes off the ball, loses it. But what I want you to watch here is we're watching Dieter. Remember, after the snap, this is Dieter right here. Look at it. You can see he's leaning and off balance right here already. You don't see this a lot from him. It looks like he kind of just loses his strength there, and this guy throws him to the ground. This one is going to go. I'm going to run it back. We're going to watch it at full speed, but it looks like this is another negative rep for Dieter Iceland. Here we'll see. Snap a little bit off, but Dieter just gets kind of manhandled to the ground there. Those are the three snaps out of 53 total that weren't great snaps. Other than that, Dieter did a great job of snapping the ball. I don't want to focus too much on his negatives here. I'm not trying to harp on Dieter at all. I really loved what I saw from him in this game. That's why I'm grading out all 53 of his snaps. I just wanted to show you guys first some of the things that comes with a guy who's never played center before and possibly why Sam Mustafer is still ahead of him on the depth chart and also why Dieter might not be able to take his job. Okay, this is the first play of Dieter's that I want to look at that was a good play. It was actually a horrible play by the offensive line. This reminds me of the second team offensive line. I showed you guys a clip a couple of weeks ago that someone recorded at training camp when Tevin Jenkins was at right guard and he was the only guy on the second team who made the block. We had to play just like that in the actual game. Let's watch it in slow motion here. Just stunt. This is... Watch Dieter. Dieter grabs his man here. Now let's, let's pause. And you'll see, doesn't have his man, doesn't have his man, doesn't have his man, is about to lose to his man. Got the whole offensive line getting beat here. And Dieter is out here blocking his man up. Like you see Dieter, he's he's got his man blocked and no one else on the line is doing their job here.
Ah, it's just... Good job by Dieter. <laughs> That's one I don't want to harp on too much. It's just one of those plays with Riley Reef and Lucas Patrick out. The depth of our offensive line is a little bit questionable right now, but Dieter did stand out on this play to me in particular. Right here, we're going to look at Dieter's first play of the game. Let's watch how he establishes himself. We're going to go in slow motion here. Watch what Dieter does. It's his man. Balls him off. Look at this. The run's going this way down here. Run is going this way. Dieter has his man walled off here. Watch. He holds it and actually brings him to the ground with him here. Watch this. Ugh. Nice job of walling his defender off there and creating a lane for the running back. This is just a solid play. This is about what you see on almost every run play. He grabs his man, he's able to anchor, and wall off his guy to open a lane for the running back. Great job, Dieter. This is my favorite play of Dieter. This is when he was working with Tevin Jenkins and Larry Borum out there still, and you see a little bit of the potential that him and Tevin Jenkins and the power working next to each other can do. Let's watch this in slow motion. right away Jenkins and Dieter double teaming this guy to get a good push off the line but this is what impresses me most it's the combo block that Dieter makes here he helps Tev get a strong push off this guy off the line then realizes there's a late guy coming in and is able to make a combo block and seal this guy off as well let's watch it in slow-mo here he's helping Tev and then Look at that shove he gets on this guy. Get out of the way and look at the hole that that opens up. That was on Dieter. That was a great play by Dieter. Let's, let's, let's rewind it back a little bit and watch it. All right, watch this in slow motion. As this linebacker is coming up to make a play, Dieter is going to get off this block with Tev and shove that guy in this direction. Oof. Nice play, Dieter. We're going to watch this play one more time in full speed because this was my favorite block of Dieter's. Let's watch it. Good job, Dieter. And then I got a couple of blocks here that showcase Dieter's ability to finish and get guys on the ground. Watch him here. He doesn't stop. Just doesn't stop. Got one more. Same thing here. Look at Dieter. He's on the guy's back. Dieter doesn't stop. Overall, I graded Dieter out with 26 positive plays, 21 neutral, and 6 negative plays out of 53. Half of his negative plays started out with a bad snap, and that is something he will have to get better at if he wants to be a center in the NFL. All in all, I was very impressed by the game that Dieter had. He wasn't perfect, but for the most part, he got his job done and looked better than any of the other second-team offensive linemen he was working with. In my opinion, he had a better game than Zachary Thomas and Michael Schofield. Both of those guys played solid, but they had more moments where they struggled, while Dieter, for the most part, was able to hold his own. When it comes to him taking Sam Mustafer's job, I believe the biggest thing working against him is his experience. Do I think he has the potential to be a center in the NFL? I do. Do I think he's done enough to make this roster? Actually, I do. The question is, do the coaches feel the same way? I will once again be watching Dieter this weekend. I believe if Lucas Patrick was healthy, Dieter would have a lot better chance at taking Mustafer's job. With Sam Mustafer having experience snapping at center and our starting center Lucas Patrick being out, to me, I think Sam Mustafer is going to make the roster. I would love to see Dieter make it as well. If not, man, I hope we can get him on the practice squad because I love this guy. He's awesome to watch on tape, and I see why you guys like him so much. Go, Dieter. I'll be rooting for him this weekend for sure. Let's hope he makes another positive impression because it's his last chance to cement a job on this 53-man roster. Stay tuned, guys. I have so much more coming. Hit that like button for me, and until next time, bear down.